Welcome back to Pemberton's Farm at Ballam Road Dairy Farming for episode number five with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 10.47, we're into October. Um, you've seen already that my property up to the north has sold. We put it on the market, bang, went in a heartbeat. Obviously very sought after. We did a write out, it wasn't a massive amount of money, but it was enough. So. It'd be no different if we had a property anywhere else, we sold a bit of land, you know, we bought the bit of land here already, but what we've got to do now is prepare and build our farmyard. Now I'm going to leave all of this on here, I'm not going to mulch any of this yet, I am going to mulch the field next door, but I'm not sure when I'm going to get onto that. I want to get a crop in here, wheat or barley or oats, because we've got till November to get them seeded. I think that was right, wasn't it? I'm going to double check that. Um, in case I get it wrong... Planting season. Now we've got till the end of November. Um, we can get some in, which is pretty good. I do like the fact, was it Omatana's new map? Um, had spring wheat and stuff in there, so you could plant, but you could harvest back in, or in like March and April. It's a nice way around of doing it, just as kind of adds an extra crop in, really. You've got your wheat and barley and stuff, but then you've got the spring version. Anyway, regardless of that, this is going to be mulched and stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to buy some small equipment again, small gateways not a lot of room not big fields i don't need massive machinery it's not going to take me too long to do any prep work on here i have got a contract i took on we're doing a potato harvest on field 16 which is just around the bend down there so the reason it's now 10 48 i've just been arranging some vehicles and getting some things ready and i took on a weeding contract this time not a sprayer but a mechanical weeder up on the field up the top there where we did that harvest contract right up the top there that's, we've got that to do as well. So we've got a few bits and bobs. Someone asked um, the other day, sent me a message and said, why um, I've called it Pemberton Farm and all I've done so far on Pemberton Farm is deliver some bales, move them, feed some sheep and do some manure. I haven't really done much on the farm. It's their farm. That's the whole point, the storyline. I'm here doing my thing, trying to set my farm up and maybe do a bit of contract work for other people um, and then helping them out when they need help. So there is, there is work for me to do there, but I wanted to get this set up first and then we'll move on and we'll... We've got a load of mowing and tedding and all sorts of stuff. And like I said, cows are doing all sorts over at Pemberton's, but we need to get this done first. So, um, I don't think, I'm so, just thinking, are we going to get any construction type things? I think we're just going to get on with it, really. I'm thinking an old style, like an English farmhouse over in the corner, maybe, over there. Um, or over here, maybe by the fence silo I need one that's going to save space oh I've got an idea for that and uh, an English ish sort of style shed maybe over there give myself an open yard here so if I do want to get a small chicken pen I can maybe put chickens down here at some point and it gives me an open area I might even put a tree in the middle with some grass around just to make it a little bit more you know I don't know it's an idea so Details of the companies providing equipment is provided in the description. Let's get this put in. We have the beginnings of our mini farmyard. Actually, I'm quite happy with that. So, Lancy Boy. Supplied and fitted. I do like that. That's been on a few of his now. Um, so we can put some stuff in here. It's got a nice English feel to it. I, this was a difficult one because the fence lines were at different angles. So I tried to line up with that fence line, but it's out a little bit with that fence line. Not a problem. It's a minor thing. Uh, we've got a nice old, or is that a modern? It, anyway, whichever one it is, English farmhouse. I thought I'd put it right in by the gate. The gate opens there, so it's not necessarily wasted space, but I thought it's quite nice there. Sleep trigger with a wardrobe trigger on the back. So we can, I say we can swing in. There's not a huge amount of room. Um, the rest of the landscaping, until I decide really what I want to do, we need some more money as well. I don't want to spend all my money doing the landscaping. I don't know whether to have a dirt sort of co sort of area or concrete like I've done for here. But we've got the sweet ground here. I think I might need to extend this a bit further anyway. And then obviously the yard. I don't want to get too sloppy during the winter and that kind of stuff or when it rains. So yeah, maybe concrete. But I don't want to concrete the whole thing. That's what I'm thinking maybe in the middle having a grass patch with a nice big tree in it or something. I might do that. That might be quite nice. Um, and under here, I say under here, we've got an underground silo. So we've only really got the grate and the silo there. There are a couple of options on this one. 
um, underground storage. I've gone for a 500,000 litre. So not insane, not crazy. I think the other one was a, I want to say 50 million. It was, it was, yeah, it was a bonkers one. Um, and that one, uh, shorts modding, I think. So yeah, that's not too bad. At least I've got the first bits in. I can put the harvester out the way now. And the first part of my work is complete. I've then just got, I've just got a potato harvest to do. <laughs> and some weeding. I suppose with the money I've got left, I need to be looking at getting some small equipment. But that will be the next episode, I think. I think so. I'm going to need a mulcher for doing that field. I'm going to need a shallow cultivator. Not necessarily if I can get a direct drill, but it wouldn't hurt. Um, I don't know actually whether or not whether over at Pemberton's because I because I gave them all those bales. Oh, it it's supposed to move. Oh, please tell me this is not. Um... Okay, that's. Oh no, is this the same thing as it was with the toolbox that I was saying the other day on multiplayer stuff that you can new, usually move and put elsewhere, it won't let you. Because I was trying to do something with milk churns the other day and it wouldn't let me either. No, it will come up with a hand. So it thinks I've picked it up. If I do that, pick it up. Yeah. Oh no. Which means I'm going to keep driving over them. Are they going to knock out? Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to have to do the best I can with what I've got, really. Um, yeah, I think I think the Pemberton's have got a fertiliser spreader, haven't they? I say a little one. Please tell me the vehicle's too tall. That's a little bit frustrating, actually. I'm not going to lie. I wonder why that's the thing. Yeah, so it will knock over. Good thing with this, it's tiny. It takes up very little space, so I've got loads of room for other stuff. Actually, what I should do is drop that down. There we go. Let me pick up now. No. Nope. Hmm, okay. Well, it's what it is. Can't do a lot about that. So, first step done. Am um, I going to need my tractor? I don't think so, because I've got equipment provided. And the other thing as well, like I said, as we move into the winter, uh, over at Pemberton's, we have to bring the cows in. The cows have got to come in off the pastures into the sheds, which is what they do. So I'm going to kind of try and do that if I can. And then we'll um, sort out the milk situation over there because I don't, I don't know how, that, how that's going to work at the moment. That's a good step in the right direction. I'm happy with that. Right, I'm going to have a wander down the lane. Get to, I think, I might have to, do I have to drive? I think I bought some of the equipment, but not all of it. I'm going to have to go to the store and get the rest of it. I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to, have to, go, I'm going to, have to wander to the store. Otherwise, I'm leaving loads of stuff there. My van's over there already. I've, it's been there for however long. Um, I'll see you and we'll sort of try and get this potato harvesting at least started anyway. Well, this is something a bit different. We've got the uh, potato harvester behind. Um, is it Roper? I think we've got. Yeah, the Keeler 2. And um, a Fanzelt. Fanzelt. Something to. I forgot what it is now. PM? PM2. Something like that. Easiest thing to do. Let's jump in. PM track. That was it. The PM track 3, not 2. Sounds really cool. So we'll take this out. Now, again, this is one of those situations we're going to have. I think with all the equipment that we get, this is a, this is long. Um, are we going to be able to turn into the field with this? I know when we drove past the other day and had a look, it looked like there was a bit of turning space into the field. I don't know. We'll just <laughs> we'll do what we can. There's, there's no way we'd be able. To, I, I say there's no way. I don't think if the contract had been given using one of the big old. Um, Uh, the big bit of potato harvesters, self-propelled potato harvesters, or like a sugar beet one or something like that, there's no way. Mind that car. Scratch the bonnet. Oh, I'll tell you what, I had a close shave the other day um, in the old Vantage. Um, 
I was moving the camper van, I was parked up the road from, from the house and there was a space down the road. I haven't got, a, I haven't got off road parking, I haven't got a driveway. So I was moving the van down the road to put it um, near the house. Why is the cat still going? Okay. And um, so I reversed down the road, and, you know, being a van, I'm using my mirrors and I've got the parking sensors and the rest of it. Lovely jubbly, big old space, not far from the house. So as I backed down the road and swung into the space, there was a Mercedes parked across the other side of the road, but he was out from the curb by about, well, you needed a gangplank to get to his car, let's put it that way. Um, he was a long way out. I've really fluffed this, haven't I? Um, he was, yeah, he was a long way out. And um, so I swung in, looking at the space, and all of a sudden, I don't know what made me suddenly look, because the parking sensor, why is that? The parking sensor didn't go off. And also I swung my head round, I must have been an inch or less from the side of his car. Had I carried on, I would have just gouged down the side of this Mercedes. <laughs> I was like, oh, 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 it was one of those horrifying moments. Oh, my blood ran cold momentarily. So, yeah, note to self. Oh, this doesn't bode well then. I don't want to move that. So there's nothing I might need to do if I can't swing in. What I might have to do is drive past and reverse it in, maybe. Ah, oh, the gate opens that way again. I suppose it's designed with the with the kind of fence arc in that way for that swing in. I guess, why don't we'll see now, won't we? <laughs> I'm not hopeful. The whole back end of this just seems to just want to go wherever it feels like it. Yeah, I'm going to catch the fence again. Hmm. Do I just come in really tight with this? Okay. Now straighten up. Oh. Okay, that might work. It's just getting used to the way those wheels turn with the back end. Right, now straighten up. Can I open this up though? Hmm. I'm going to catch the fence. Probably. I think I'm going to have to do a couple of rounds. I needed to turn it around the other way, really. But maybe if I do a couple round this way, and then go the other way. <laughs> it's not ideal, but we got in in the end. This is going to fill up really quickly, isn't it? And then um, I'm going to be in the wrong position completely for this. Absolutely horrendous. What about if I back into that gap and swing around and go the other way now? What's the worst that can happen? I've already made an absolute bodge of getting that in. Equipment choice? Tell you what. It's, um, I've talked about it before when I do map tours. I've said about it. And I have to say, this is the first map I think I've been on where, because of gates and that kind of stuff, equipment, sure this is awful. This is absolutely awful. I'd just be destroying this field. I certainly wouldn't get employed again to do any more contract work. Um, at the end of the day, I'm harvesting, but just not quite how they're anticipating, I would have thought. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been on a map or worked on a farm area where equipment choice has been so relevant it, it is scary how important it is even something like this you think okay well i'm not going to get a, a 
self-propelled one in here. Nope. I don't know if we're going to do this because we're just going to keep getting caught on the fences, aren't we? I was thinking actually, what I might do, um, my Elgato, like I said, my Elgato's not working. I've said that for a while and I've been having some problems with it, which we're hopefully looking at. I mean, I've, I've been told a few times that it's going to be looked at and um, I'm not going to go into that. But anyway, um, I can broadcast directly from the PlayStation. So I'm thinking when it comes to the mowing and possibly tedding, Silage work's going to be different, but when I do the mowing and tedding, I might broadcast that. I might do that as a live because it's one of those things that I'm just going to be mowing. I'm going to be mowing the grass and then tedding it on whichever fields it is I've got to do. I'm not too sure which fields I've got to do. And um, but that'll be a nice one to do a broadcast, to do a live stream because that's m more about being live and being able to chat to subscribers and people being on there than it is, um, you know, the work itself almost takes a back seat when you're doing a stream I think I don't know yeah I think I've just got to think a bit more carefully about how I approach angles and corners and things of that nature what I'll do is avoid that bend until the next pass and then we'll be in a little bit further right well I'm going to go around again and then hopefully we'll have a full load we'll get that unloaded I haven't even checked to see if this has got to go where have I take this to let's have a look at our contractage uh, harvesting potatoes oh yeah restaurant I did say that in the last episode didn't I uh, which is just out here so literally as we come out there it's right here that should be all right. Okay. I'm liking the fans up though. That's cool. I'm now going the correct way around the field. <laughs> we have got a full load, 10,000 litres, so what we'll do now is pipe out. I tried to do a little bit more over this side to give myself room to get in with the trailer. So hopefully, if I stop about there, and then what I can do is carry on clearing this side. Well, I'm going to go around the correct way now, I guess the correct way. That way I'm not driving over the crops. That would really help, wouldn't it? So if we go from about there, Beacons on. Now we've got the fun of trying to get this in. It's not too long a trailer, but... Oh, I left the engine running. <gasps> That's terrible. So... If we can start turning straight in... Now... This one may have to go in from the other way though, might it? Just thinking... Yeah... I think I'm just going forward to this. If I've got the angle just right, I might be alright, but... I don't think I will. <laughs> I don't think I will. That's better. Wheels are at the back, it makes more sense. And then it hits to the front. Jesus, right. I don't know how big this trailer is, actually. We'll certainly get more than one load in here, won't we? Keep me on my toes, that's for certain. Do I turn the engine off on the phones out? It's the same now. Okay, that's not unloading. There we go, now we are. Engine off, lights off.
Excellent. Turn it on. Got fog that away first. Seems a bit weird. Oh. I should have moved out of the way then, should have done that first really. Not having a good day so far, are we? Right. There we go. That's better. And the bits we missed, we'll tie it. I love the sound of this. This. It's brilliant. I left myself enough room here, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll see you now when I've got a full load. I might have needed to go around the other way a little bit more, I think, first. Just to worry about hitting the fence, but. Yeah, once we've got a full load, we'll take it to the restaurant, um, and then I say, hopefully I'll move on to the weeding. I don't... Oh, I've just remembered. Now I've got my silo, I've got that trailer of um, sorghum I left sitting out, didn't I? That's got to go into the silo. I think I've got more room here than I think I have. I think I've got more room than I think I have. I've got more room here than I think I have, that's probably... where I look back and find I've missed loads. Let's have a look. How am I doing? I don't know. No gaps to want to turn the corner and look. Is it going to be awful? No, we're all right. Cool. First full load, 40,000 litres. I don't I haven't really got enough money. Have I got enough money? I don't think I have. Unless I was doing, I suppose if I did one contract, while I was doing that contract, that was paying for the worker for the next one, maybe, I don't know. 
I could hire a worker while I was off delivering, I guess. But I think for the time being I'll leave it. The contract was saying 60% complete already, or if not nearly 70. And then we'll deliver this. I don't know. We could be left with a load of potatoes. If we're left with a load of potatoes, I might have to look at something that we can do with potatoes. Because I, th I might just sell them. And I did say I wasn't going to go heavily down the production chain route, which I wasn't intending to do, but it doesn't hurt to, you know, have some kind of little uh, little cottage industry, so to speak. We haven't got far to go to the restaurant, we'll unload the first load, and then I'll probably then see you when the contract's over, I guess. What I could potentially do, if I just hire a worker for ten minutes or so, I'll go and get the stye out of my trailer and I'll... Um, I'll bring the sorghum back to my yard, to my yard. I, I guess what I really should be doing is landscaping the rest of it, but like I say, I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I don't want to spend money landscaping it all and then deciding later on, actually, I want to do this instead, and then, you know, kind of double, double landscaped. Um, so I should just be to the left out of here. Traffic, we well, see more at the moment, but that doesn't mean anything. Then round the back of here, I think. Can I turn around there? Over the flower beds, no problem at all. Should I have backed into here? I'm sure it was round here, wasn't it? Am I going mad? Where are we? I think so. Um, that might help. Uh, okay, now I'm puzzled. Restaurant. Oh, it is around the front, okay. Fair enough. Well, we're not being paid, that's a good sign. <laughs> this saying 75% complete we've still got a lot of the field to clear yeah we could be left with a little bit I think I'm going to do what I said I'm going to just hire a worker just for well it won't even be 10 minutes it'll be 5 minutes I'll grab the style grab the trailer put that I, mean, I could wait till I'm done I'm just being impatient I guess I we shouldn't be a bit funny I'm, I'm thinking straight away, I'm thinking, I, I, there's, there's just too much traffic, it, it, it does get a bit frustrating every time we try and pull out, but I just keep thinking to loads and loads of videos when Tom Pemberton's trying to pull out of the farm um, in a tractor, whatever jobs he's doing, and there's just so much traffic and sometimes people let him go, because it's the main road through the Ballam Road. Um, so I guess it's, it's, it's an accurate depiction, really. I was thinking about doing, starting up a little mowing business on the side, maybe. I don't know if I could get people to pay me to mow their gardens and stuff, maybe. Maybe give that a go. Get ourselves a little zero-turn mower or something and go out with a trailer and mow people's lawns and stuff. Maybe work out a deal where I get to keep the, keep the grass and stuff, maybe. I don't know. Five minutes, it won't break the bank. I'm now looking across at that field to, or my farmyard thinking I, I don't know if I can put up with that being like that. Maybe I just need to mulch it down first, I don't know. Or maybe if I just put a grass, uh, grass texture over it or something. 
I don't really want to concrete the whole thing, but I don't know how expensive that'll be to get concrete poured over all of that. So, let's go and grab the trailer. I think I left it up here, didn't I? I stole the sorghum. Like I say, I don't know if I'm going to do chickens. I, I normally do, and these it won't necessarily be for me to sell. I mean, I will sell them probably, but I think when I did whole mercury all that time ago, it was just enough chickens that if I had my own little homestead, my own little slice of, you know, happiness, I could um, just feed myself, just enough to keep myself going. I think on that one as well, I just, I just did enough pigs, enough cows, had a bit of milk, had a bit, you know, a bit of bacon in the morning, bacon and eggs, but I don't know, really. We can always nip along to Pemberton's and... Uh, pick up groceries if we need to. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something with that. That's, that is going to drive me insane. So is this situation. I'm even now starting to think the style might be fine for doing some field work, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to need a smaller tractor, you know. Something small but with a lot of power. I wonder if I just gravel the middle bit. If I put a little circle in the middle of grass for what I think well, I might put a tree, the rest of it gravel for the time being? I don't know. That cone situation is going to bug me. <laughs> Pros and cons to the whole multiplayer thing, I guess, really. Isn't it? Hmm. Just worried about it costing me a lot of money. I need to get back because I'm I'm spending money at the moment while I'm doing this. Okay, that's sort of sort of done. Really frustrating. I just think all I would need to do was take a fence post out or just add a double gate. Because I own both of these, I would I would take out probably the fencing to about here, or maybe all the way across, and then put a double gate in there. So I could swing in to both sides of the field. It is what it is.
Okay, it's taking a little while. It's nearly one o'clock. We've got another full load, 40,000 litres. The Kila potato harvester is full with 10,000 litres and I've got one single row, not even a full row um, to do. So the contract is currently sitting at 89% complete. We'll find out whether or not what I've got in here will complete the contract and then whatever's left is ours or whether or not I need some of that 10,000 litres or, you know, whichever way around. Swing out, hopefully nothing comes up or inside. I'll tell you what though, this restaurant's getting through a lot of potatoes. I'd imagine their whole menu is just made up of that now. Dauphinois, pommes frites, french fries, steak cut. Okay, well, I need some more. What's the contract saying now? 99%, okay. Right, I'll go and grab the last bit then. So what I'll do is when I see you next, then we'll have delivered whatever it requires next. It's not gonna require very much, I wouldn't have thought. And we'll be taking, although, I won't get this trailer into the yard. This is where the problems come in. Um, I might have to go and grab my trailer because it's a little bit smaller. And unload into that. That way we can get that into the yard if we have got anything left over. And put it into our silo. Assuming, of course, our silo, I'm sure the one we just put in is a multi fruit I think. Oh, I didn't talk about this. I, I, um, yeah, you probably saw. I decided to go in the landscape. It has knocked our money down a little bit, but we're okay. So, uh, yeah, I did landscape it. It's flat at the moment, so it's um, gravel and stuff, but we did put a tree in. I was thinking of planting one to let it grow, but in the end I thought, you know what, let's just put a tree in. It makes it feel a bit more homely. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking I'll go and grab our trailer. And I might. There's nothing else showing up on, bearing in mind we've gone into another month, as far as... Um, gear goes uh, wrong one that sort of available on under, under used vehicle sale so that's not going to help us out too much at the moment anyway uh yeah so i'll see you back there and then what we'll do we'll grab the van from the store we'll was up to the north field and we'll get that mechanical weeding done and i think i was intending to get the yard done get this harvested and then do that weeding contract and that'll be it for this one then we got tools to look at buying to sort our field out and then um i'm not sure yeah we have to have a think about what comes next So, contract is complete. 6,479 litres of potatoes we gained out of it. That's all right. The equipment we'll need, I've, I've worked out now, coming out, because I can I can get in and out of this gate. Um, out, I can get out, no problem at all. In, I can't. So, out, I can swing out wide enough here to cut an angle out that way. Coming in... I can't get wide enough here that as I turn in with the tractor to get the right angle, the trailer hits the fence. So I go past and reverse in, and whilst I haven't quite, I've scraped that post a couple of times, but I'm getting there. I'm, yeah, I'm definitely getting there. I, I think maybe a stubbier tractor. I was looking at Fanzel actually we had on the contract, thinking actually I quite like that. That's smaller, but when I sat that next to the styre when I went out to collect the potatoes, it's actually about the same size if not the fanzel actually looks a little bit bigger i thought it looked sort of a stockier stubby tractor, but it's not anyway i'm going to take that machinery back complete on the contract i think even if we don't think that contract paid 
about six grand. Let's have a look and see what does it pay. Um, 6177 when you take off the least cost of the machinery. Um, even though that just covers the landscaping I've just done, so be it. Um, the weeding contract, again, I'm using their gear. It's not going to pay out a huge amount of money. But this isn't one of those maps. It's not one of those farming areas where you're going to get 30, 40, 50 grand contracts. It's just, it's just not. So, um, yeah, just take what I can. The bailing contracts pay out well, especially if I take on silage ones, because if you've got any spare, you can sell the silage and you can make a bit of extra money. That being said, we did just get some... Um, we just get some potatoes, so can't odds that. I do prefer it like this, actually. And it does give us a bit of room for putting other other shelters and bits and bobs in. I could put maybe a chicken pen, a small one, on here rather than... I don't know. There's all different options, things we can look at. Got a bit of space there for some stuff. Yeah. All good. I'll sit up the top in the van... Why did I complete that contract? Done. Okay. Uh, van, I need to go this way, really. Hop the fence. Okay, okay. I think I've, I've let the day run away with me because I didn't start till like half past ten. Um, that's a bit worrying. So I suddenly thought I've got so much to do. We need to get a crop in the ground in that small field next to our farmyard by the end of November. And we want to try and at least, I don't know if we are going to get snow, we need to try and get um, the Pemberton's work done for them. That's the point as well, they haven't got any straw bales, have they? So I'm assuming they're going to buy somewhere so we we'll go and collect straw bales, which is fine, don't mind doing that either. Right, so, this one. It's got a load of weeds in. The farmer has very kindly left the machinery here for us. Yeah, look. Happy days. Nice little voucher. Variable seed rate is showing top left, but that's only because um, this will seed as well. It does a few different crop types, but I'm just using it. Well, this is what I was left. For the mechanical weeding aspect, there will be no sowing going on. There should be a case of just dropping it down. I'm going, I think. Don't have to turn it on because I'm not seeding. There we go. There you go, the yucky, horrible weeds. Yeah. It's, it's a fair size field. I mean, there's no cost implication with fertilizer or anything like that. And I'm not going to have any anything left. It's not a harvest, I won't have any crop left over or anything like that. But again, I don't normally do weeds, so doing weeding, whether it be mechanical weeding, whether it be using sprayers. It's just an extra thing to do, isn't it? So, I think that's where I'm going to end this one. I don't know how long it's going to be. <laughs> I'm sure you will already know, I won't know until I edit, but anyway. Um, and there's still loads more to do, I've got a ton to do. And we are going to be getting over to Pemberton's and doing some work for them. Don't worry, we will be getting over there. Um, I just wanted to kind of establish myself a little bit. And I think where I initially started out wasn't quite where I wanted to be, I don't think. So uh, now we are. We've got a little yard. We've got, you know, we've got ourselves a sleep trigger. We've got a wardrobe. We've got a silo. Um, we've still got a little bit of money left. We've got something to buy some small machinery. And I have been looking at... Um, what things I can kind of go for and it is going to be fairly small stuff um, and hopefully then with contract work and work for Pemberton's that's when we're going to get to use bigger machinery but for myself for the time being at least anyway uh, this is what we're going to be doing so I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>